Okay, one more thing here. This, okay, again, we're, we're into more Dorcoisms here. So we're in engrave mode, and I just need to point this out. Project title, subtitle, save date. There is nothing below it. Notice there is no song or flow title. So when I get rid of this, oh, weird. Okay, there there is a flow title here. So where is that coming from? It's coming from down here, flow headings. So if I click this, we're going to make, oh, I'll open it here. This gives you, again, tokens. This just appears just above the first frame of music. Um, and it gives you the flow number and title. And we're going to do one very, very simple change to make it more filmy, um, which is this. Bam. 1M, uh, maybe like a hyphen or something. Okay, let's see what happens. Ha! So automatically, when we have, we could have like four cues or five cues, um, and they'll all be within this project. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go to setup. Uh, we're going to add a flow, which is just a song. Cool. So now we have two flows. Starts here. And look, automatically, 1M2. And then we would put in, uh, if we go project info, um, bad guy lives again. Amazing. So this is this is kind of one of the arguments for the Dorco process of master pages and flow headings, is you kind of set everything up, and it automatically or automatically does um, does this stuff for you. In fact, now it just occurs to me now that this four clicks free thing should be a flow heading and not uh, not in a master page. Let's change that. I will say one thing you can't do is copy a text frame, which kind of sucks. So we're going to delete that. C-score is fine because it's it will always be a C-score. And now, let's see. Please work. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Why is it still there? Oh. Okay. I have proved my point which is this is why we don't want to do master page overrides. So even though I changed, I got rid of that box text on the master page, it's still there because I changed it from X to four and now, now it's kept the entire text frame. So I'm going to right click over here, remove all page overrides. There we go. Nice. Now, let's see here. We're going to add this thing, paste this, I'm gonna make it bold, I'm gonna take this frame, and then show border, we're gonna make it thick. Oh, center it. This should work, this should be good. And I wonder if changing this will like screw up anything on the master pages. Well, I guess we'll see. Amazing. Okay, so perfect. It, it, it looks the same. It, it used to be up here. Now it's here. Looks good to me. Now, ha, there it is. So good. Okay, and again, no page number here because it's the first page of the next song. You can make a flow page number token and a project page number token. So you could, you know, one thing I like doing is having the flow page here. So you could easily say, oh, it's on page two of the third song. But then at the bottom, you can have the overall page. So you could say page two of the third song is on page 12 of the book. I mean, it's a little ridiculous, but it's something. Now let's see what happens when I do this. Huh? Uh... So once again, okay, so dealing with frames is, as I said, a little tricky when they overlap. 
as I am proving right now, because I can't even select anything. Why can't I click you? So weird. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna drag that. Huh. Four clicks free, drag this back. Bueno, okay. Uh, and yes, we do have a page override. Remove page overrides. Yeah, yeah. But that's fine. I mean, you're you're you are often going to have them for little things. It's just you wouldn't want to edit like a title here. You know, it'd be really cool if there's a token for number of beats in a measure. That would be amazing. I wonder. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do something cheeky here. Here's what you're gonna do. Let's pick a token that we would never use. Editor. We're gonna go in and call that editor number four. And uh, this song, well, it's gonna be in five four, so use editor five. Okay. Let's see. Oh, uh, okay, well, first things first. Let's remove this page override. So it's back to X. Change this. Oh, that's such a pain. That'll probably get updated. I think we want flow editor. Flow info editor. Yes. Please work. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so that's a, a bit of a of a bodge. Um, but I think that looks good and relatively painless. And of course, this is why we set up templates. Oh, love it. Okay, kind of weird, but whatever. Let's make sure that this next song is in, in five. Uh, shift M for meter. Five, four. While we're here, we may as well add some tempo text. Uh, you don't have to, and you'll just change it when you start writing, but it's nice to get an idea of what the song is going to look like. So that's Shift-T for tempo, and uh, you just start typing whatever the, uh, the like, Italian or French or German indication is, and it will uh, give you an autocomplete thing. So let's go Allegro. And then you can just change the, the actual beat value, but there we are. Okay, let's see what happens in the parts. So, as I mentioned before, parts don't really open easily when there's no music in them. Um, so here's what a part would look like. This is called a layout name in Dorco. It's, you know, the part name, flute one. We have the title, and uh, we'll need to change these to one and one, one and two. Okay, looks good, looks good. Low headings. Apply. Now the question is, will this apply to just the flute part or will it apply to all parts? Let's see. That looks good though, eh? I think that looks amazing. Let's see what happens when I go to flute two. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Oh no. It gets in the way of the, mm. In the way of the tempo. Oh, that's awful. Okay. I don't want to just drag the Allegro down. Interesting. Erg, I wonder what would happen. Let's see. There are a couple of solutions here. I think there's a some sort of padding sesh, uh, padding option in like vertical spacing or something. Oh, well also these shouldn't be A4, these should be a letter, but whatever. It's not what we're doing. Flow heading bottom margin. Let's 
the let's see what I don't even know what this does. Let's see what happens. Okay, I think that did it. This is something I'm gonna revisit because I have hmm like what happens if I undo? Yeah, okay. So flow where was that? Oh my god, John. This is what this is not a tutorial. Flow heading bottom margin. So I may as well do that for everybody. Arguably you only need to do it for parts with multiple instruments. But Whatever, we'll go 15, 15.5. Um, or I could just change the size of the X clicks free box. Yeah, I guess the not dumb thing would be this. Like, let's see how squeezed we can get it here. See what this looks like. Yeah, I mean, looks looks good. I think I might shrink that. Uh, that's a good discovery, actually. 